Guys, gals, and non-binary pals, welcome back to Mad Lad Instruments and part two of the Gang Guitar build. And we're starting today off by signing the back of the headstock, and yes, you are correct. Every Mad Lad instrument comes with a serial number, a production number, telling you overall what number guitar or build that is. And for these special limited edition guitars, there's also a series number, so what number in that series or that particular build it is. So for this one, since it's the first gang guitar build being ever built, it is series number 001. And as you're seeing right now, I'm unboxing on screen this beautiful Floyd Rose special. We are going to be putting a Floyd onto this guitar. And in case you didn't know, the Floyd Rose, or the double locking tremolo, as its more technical name is, it's a type of bridge that kind of floats, or it kind of is suspended between the strings and the spring tension on the guitar and it allows you to kind of dive bomb and do these cool effects so really really excited to build a guitar with a floyd in it as you can see here the bridge pocket for the floyd was a little bit small i've since updated my files so that it cuts it out a little bit further but for this one we actually do have to widen it and that means going over to the drill press look at that plunge Actually, my drill press is a little bit weird. I think the motor's going out on it, so it doesn't spin at optimal RPMs, but we are able to gouge it out, and now it fits, so feeling good. Next here, I set the neck tension on this particular guitar, so the neck, I was able to give it a little bit more play forward and allow the action to be a little bit closer to the fretboard. It's kind of hard to describe, but basically I tightened down. It's not optimal because obviously you want the brake angle and everything like that to be perfect, and since now I've also updated that in the design files as well, but since this particular guitar is gonna be in my own personal collection, I didn't mind that the brake angle wasn't perfect and the back neck plate is where you adjust the tension and you adjust that brake angle by either loosening or tightening the screws. From here, we're putting in some locking machine heads, which is kind of redundant on a Floyd Rose, or a double locking tremolo. The double locking part means that they're at the nut, they're actually clamps that lock the string down, so the tuning machine is kind of out of the equation at that point because it's locked down at the nut. But I still like locking machine heads or locking tuners, and they're standard on pretty much every Mad Lad instrument moving forward, so why change it? <laughs> So here we are setting the straightness. You saw me using the file just a second ago. That's just a straight object to make sure that they are all in line and straight with one another. And after that, we just drill a couple holes and we get the screws in there and that will set the tuning machines in place. I'll take this quick second. If you guys watched the video that I put out on Friday, you know that I did a A is for Drew SMR version of this video, which is just the sounds of me building and including this sound right here, which is my favorite sound in all of guitar building, and that is ratcheting down the machine heads. I don't know. The sound of ratchets is just so satisfying, but had a couple comments that said that they would really like to see more A is for Drew SMR or ASMR style build videos, and those are really popular on YouTube. and. I figure, I'll be totally honest with you guys, the algorithm likes multiple uploads and more content, so if I can squeeze two videos out of one edit then, and satisfy both parties, then I'm gonna go for it. So definitely let me know down in the comments if you prefer this kind of commentary style track or commentary style video, or if you like the ASMR, or if you like both. I'm just trying to gauge what kind of content you guys like. Also, I've been trying, or I've been thinking about putting up some YouTube shorts for the particular builds and stuff like that, or just like incremental stuff, little tidbits like sanding and stuff like that. People really like the sound of sanding, so I might do some shorts about me sanding next and just small little odd jobs along the building journey. And we're back to the build here. You can see that I'm using my straightness gauge to check the straightness, and thankfully this neck was pretty well behaved. I didn't have to do too, too much in the way of making sure that it was straight. It got pretty much straight as an arrow after just a little bit of tweaking. You may have also seen me going in with a chisel just a couple minutes ago. I did need to clear out a little bit of the material around the truss rod pocket, but this is something else that I also updated in the design file. So that's one of the great things about building guitars, especially in the early days, is you get to find all these things and refine your designs, and it really starts to become your design versus just some models that you found on the internet and you've modified to be your own. So every incremental step, every chance that I have to improve the designs, it makes me feel really, really good. And also included in that is making your own parts, like these 3D printed pickup rings that you just saw there. And from there, we're going to go into a time lapse here. I am getting the trem bar, or that's not the trem bar, that is the trem claw, that the part that the springs grab to on the back. 
installed and just some odd little things here and there to get everything set up. On Floyd Roses, you also need a string tension bar, so that's me installing it up there at the top. And before you know it, we start stringing up the Floyd. And Floyd Roses, from what I've heard, or double locking tremolos from what I've heard, everybody tells me online that you should always tune them from middle out. So you may be used to tuning your guitar with going from the low E to the high E, but with trems, you wanna do the D and the G string, then the A, and the B string, and then the low E and the high E. It basically allows you to keep the same tension across the bar and the Floyd won't like lose the tension and cause tuning destabilizing and stuff like that. It's a long story. We can get into it some other time, but right now what we're into is the pocket on this particular guy and we are getting everything wired up. For this particular build, we are using Eruption pickups from BYO Guitars. We've used their pickups before and they're really, really great at a really solid price point. And these Eruption pickups are fantastic. I got to sound check them or sound test them a little bit ago and I just love the gain and it's fantastic. But what isn't fantastic is having flat frets. So I actually used frets from a practice neck that I was building before I built this guitar. And a lot of them, I work them until they're flat. And so as you can see here, some of the notes literally don't change. And that is on account of what you can see here, these flat frets. Fret work is by far one of the most finicky things I would say with guitar building and so with that we're going to do a whole part with me just fixing this one problem so definitely be on the lookout we'll call it for today's video just because I don't want to spend too too much because I know your time is precious and the analytics have told me that as well the watch time on some of these videos is a little bit lower so I'm trying to compact things a little bit more so that I can get the most into that time that you guys do give me but definitely be on the lookout make sure that you're subscribed hit that like button and all that good stuff and yeah be on the lookout for new videos i'm trying to upload at least one maybe two videos a week uh, with either commentary or asmr just kind of build sounds and then some shorts throughout the week once we get that spinning and we get some more builds going i'm sure we'll be regularly uploading and the earlier you get in, the sooner you get to be first in line to see all that cool stuff. Also, if you're looking to buy a Mad Lad guitar, you can check me out on Instagram at Mad Lad Instruments. All the information for ordering and present inventory can be found there. And while you're here, why don't you check out another video? We've got a couple in the pipe right now, so you can go check out some of the other stuff using that end card right there. And as always, we'll wrap up in the normal way. As that is my me saying, always remember, friends, that you are wanted, you are loved, and you are appreciated. You have a special talent that nobody else has, and the world is waiting on you to bring it out. So muster a little courage, go out into the world, and change it. That's what the world's waiting on, you. Till next time, guys, be good to one another, and party on. And I'll see you in the next one.